my foot currently has pins and needles, but we're going to go with it. <laughs> hey guys, it's Brittany here, and today I'm going to film a haul video of all the stuff I picked up on my New York trip that I took last weekend. Um, my reasoning for my trip was to go see Day 6. They were performing at the PlayStation Theater on the 12th and the 13th of September for their Gravity World Tour and I got to see them on their second show and it was so much fun. I had a blast. I danced my ass off. <laughs> I've only been listening to this group for like two months and they've been making music since 2015 but I love them dearly. They are so great and it was awesome and I stayed in the city an additional day to do some shopping, go to a museum, go to K-Town. So yeah, I'm going to show you all the stuff I picked up, which really in my opinion isn't a lot but it makes me happy and smile to share it with you guys. So yeah, I got to the city at 8 in the morning and I had a ton of time to kill because I was not able to check in into my Airbnb until 3 p.m. so I got breakfast and walked around time uh walked around Central Park and I went to the Met and spent uh two and a half to three hours in there and got a couple things from their gift shop so the first thing I picked up is this pin it is of an art palette with little paints and it says the Met on it and I plan to put this on my denim jacket. And the second thing I got was a t-shirt, which is so soft. I'm so looking forward to wearing this, whether I'm gonna wear it out and about or as a sleep shirt, cause I got it in a men's XL, so it's like extra long. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like this. So I'm like, ugh. it's probably gonna be my new favorite shirt because my last time I went to the city, I got a shirt from the MoMA and it's like one of my favorite shirts. So I feel like this is gonna, it might be just a museum t-shirt thing. I don't know, but it's, it's great. It's really soft. So yeah, that is what I picked up at the Met. And by that time I was able to check into my room and I got lunch at Canal Street Market and um, I had to head over to the PlayStation Theater because the show started at 7.30 and I wanted to get there a little early. I got there like half an hour before the show because um, I was in pit. I was at general admission and it was great. I, I had so much fun and I wanted to get a tour t-shirt but I noticed that the uh, merch booth was only accepting cash and your girl did not have cash so I did not get a shirt which is a shame but it's okay um, I did though <laughs> go to the Lion Friend store since it was practically down the street um, uh, in Times Square so yeah I picked up a couple things I'm sad because I mainly went to Lion Friends to get a new wallet, a tote bag, another water bottle, and they had none of that. So I only got a couple things, which I guess is good for my bank account, but yeah. <laughs> the first thing I picked up is this folder, and it's a Tata folder. It, I picked it up because of the color pink. It's pretty. Uh, but yeah, this is I'm so handsome on the back. It's so cute. I don't go to school anymore, so I'm not going to really use this for, like, school stuff. Um, I kind of thought about just putting, like, important documents in it, like a resume and, like, tax forms and stuff like that. That's probably what's going to go in here. Um, unless if I'm, like, get back to trying to study foreign languages through du Duolingo. <laughs> we'll see. But, yeah, I picked this up. It was pretty cheap. And then I saw a YouTuber that I follow, I forgot her name, but she hauled all these like post-it sets. And there's like, I think four of them, but I picked up this one. This one's the Pastel City one, cause it's so pretty. So I plan to use these in my bullet journal, travel journal, anything that I wanna like write a little note on. But yeah, I got those. And the last thing I got <laughs> was more pens. Not that I need anymore, I just want to collect them all. So I've noticed that each character has like three different pens. Like they have one where they're, the character's sitting down, the one where the character's standing up, and then another where the character's like posing. And 
also currently at the Line Friends store. They have this new collection where the characters are like with fast food. So you'll like see like Koya with pizza or Cookie with ketchup or Tata with hot dogs or Chimmy with chili. Um, and I didn't pick up any of those because I had those um, part of the collection in the pens. I didn't pick up any of those. Um, but yeah, I got a Shooky pen with him sitting. And I got another Shooky pen, but this one he's standing up. And I got a Tata pen, he's sitting. A Mong pen, he's sitting. And then I got a Koya pen, which this one's my favorite because I love the color pink of it. But yeah, he's sitting down too. So I got, I picked up all those which are great. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I got at Line Friends. I was actually pretty surprised that I spent less than $40. <laughs> but yeah, and I'm so happy I got the Vaughn and Tata bag because I've been collecting all the shopping bags. Um, my last trip, I got a uh, Koya and Cookies bag and Chimmy and Shookie's bag. And I guess with that, the only one I'm missing is the Mong and RJ bag, which I haven't even seen. But yeah, I collect <laughs> stupid shopping bags because they're so cute. Uh, yeah, that's all I picked up on my first day of um, my New York trip. And then the next morning, I went to my first cup sleeve event, which is so freaking cool. <laughs> Where I'm from, we don't even have K-pop stores. And I, I was so happy to go to my first cup sleeve event. This one was for Namjoon. His birthday uh, had previously passed on Thursday. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Um, I noticed um, on Twitter that there were two events uh, for uh, Namjoon. There was one in Manhattan at Luna Coffee, which I didn't make it to, which actually turned out okay because apparently they ran out of cup sleeves pretty quickly. But I did go out to the one scheduled out in Brooklyn at Cloud9 Crepes, and I waited in line for an hour and a half. <laughs> but I'm so happy. And this is the cup sleeve. It says, Happy RM Day, uh, 1994, uh, September 12th. So yeah, it's so cute. <laughs> and then um, they had a limited amount of postcards that they were giving to each customer who ordered a drink. Um, so I was able to get those. This is the first one. And then this one's the second one. So I was so happy I was able to get those um, after waiting in line. Um, but yeah. It was so good. Um, <laughs> yeah, so um, after that, I, I was hungry. I did get a crepe from there and it was really, really good. It was also pretty funny because the line outside the building was really long and you had like normal pedestrians walking by and they're just like, man, are their crepes really that good? What's going on? Like everyone was so perplexed of the line outside this building, but it's because we were there for a birthday event and it was just funny seeing other army members explaining the situation to other pedestrians. So it was pretty funny. Um, but yeah, the next location I went to was Chelsea Market. I went to go get uh, lunch at my favorite taco place, <laughs> which is Takumi Taco. It's so good and I went ahead and looked around the uh, bookstore Possman Books and picked up a couple of things. Um, I got some washi tape and this is washi tape with like little books on it so I know I'm gonna use this for my like my book spreads about keeping track of my reading and stuff and book spending. And then the next thing I picked up was this chopstick set by Tokidoki. It was only a couple dollars so I thought it'd be pretty cute. So yeah those are the two things I picked up <laughs> in Chelsea Market. And the next stop I went to was my favorite bookstore, Kino Um, Yeah, I got the tote bag, which looks really, really cool. It has a map of New York and like it labels out the different areas of New York, like Soho, Upper West Side, Upper East Side, and stuff like that. So yeah, and the first thing I picked up was a manga volume um, with October uh, vastly, vastly approaching. Um, I'm like getting into the whole Halloween witchy vibes. So they had this manga called Generation Witch, which I'm looking forward to picking up. It's going to be so cute. So I'm excited. 
So that's the first thing I picked up. And then I went downstairs um, in our regular bookshop because the top floor is all manga, English and Japanese. And then their second floor is just all like regular books. Um, and then their bottom level is all like stationary type stuff. Um, but yeah, I was hella excited to notice that this was on the shelf. This doesn't come out until the 24th. So I was shook and it's a signed edition. Um, it's Wayward Son by Rainbow Rowell, um, the sequel to Carry On. And there's her signature. Um, I'm actually pretty surprised at how slim it looks. I, I was expecting like, cause Carry On was at like easily 500 pages and this looks to be 350. So I'm kind of confused, but I'm excited to find out what's going on with Simon and Baz. Um, I think I rated Carry On like four stars. I've, re I've read it twice. Um, I listened to the audiobook, which, which was pretty cool. But yeah, I love this cover. Uh, yeah, so I'm excited uh, to get into this and like was shook that I was able to pick it up at the bookstore like two weeks before it came out. Uh, but yeah, and the last things I got in the bookstore were more pens. I can't leave Kinogania without buying some mild liners and some pens. So I got two new mild liners in colors I don't think I own. I like a teal blue color and like an indigo purple color. Which I use when I annotate my books, which I haven't done in several months. So I'm looking forward to like doing that at some point. And then I got a new um, Coco Eero? Coco Eero letter pen which you buy the body of, which this one I got in light blue, and then you get the refills that you are able to stick into it. So I got another um, fine tip in black because I love this pen. So I know, I know if I run out of ink, I'll be able to refill it with a new one. And then I got this one, which is a fine tip in blue, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that's what I picked up at Kino Ganea. And then my next stop was Muji, which I've already taken everything out of the bag. I'm like surprised that I made it back home with this bag and my stuff not falling out of it because I tore it. But the main thing I wanted to pick up at Muji was this organization box, which thank God I got it home safely and I didn't drop it. <laughs> um, but I picked it up so I can store my washi tapes in it because I have been getting so many washi tapes <coughs> so yeah i'm looking forward to that i haven't opened it yet but i'm gonna get to doing that after i finish filming this video and i picked up um a refill of my the tape runner thing so i got two of these and one i've already reloaded into my tape runner i use these to paste stuff into my journals uh, my travel journal my bullet journal stuff like that so yeah and then the last thing I picked up, I had to pick up some pens at Muji because I love their pens. Um, I ran out of my ink of my 0.5 pen, so I picked up another one in black. And then I also picked up that same pen, black, but in a, a smaller tip of 0.38. And then I also picked up this pen, which is a 0.5. It's purple and it's a clicky one. So yeah, that's what I picked up at Muji. Um, and I also, when I was... <laughs> To spend even more money at Muji, I um, was in line for checkout and noticed they were having a deal on socks. They had it for three for nine. So I got three pairs. I got this pair in like a burnt orange color, this pair in a uh, mustard color, and then this pair in like a forest green color. So I'm gonna wear these. They're, they're like totally fall vibes. So yeah, they're pretty cool. And <clears throat> let's see, the last couple places I went to uh, are in Koreatown. <coughs> uh, the first stop I made was Cosette Beauty and I got one item. I got another lip lacquer uh, with the BT21 collection. I got Tata's color and this one is like a very vibrant red and I feel like I already have a vibrant red in my collection but I couldn't deny Tata so and currently I'm wearing the cookie uh, shade of this on my lips right now, but I couldn't leave them there. So I went ahead and picked it up and it's like really vibrant. 
like yeah <laughs> but yeah and it smells has an interesting smell to it so yeah that's what i picked up at cosette beauty and right next door is choreo books which is a korean bookstore they sell albums and merch and stuff so i got a couple items from there <clears throat> I'm surprised I didn't spend more money there, I guess because I was trying to avoid um, buying albums because albums are expensive. <laughs> but yeah, the first thing I picked up was this face mask. I know with like the weather changing, <laughs> there's a possibility that I could get sick. So I wanted to get one of these masks. So I got this pink one that's woven. It's pretty cute. And I got some Koya stickers. I wanted to, I knew that I was going to like journal about um, my time at the um, cafe. And I, Koya is Nam June's character from BT21. So I got his stickers. And then I was so happy because the last time I went to Choreo Books, they didn't have these pins. So I picked up more pins. I got a TXT pin. And a twice pin, which are going to go on my denim jacket, along with my other K-pop pins. And the last thing I got was this washi tape. It is another Cacao Friends character. It is a peach. And it's pink, and it's just really, really cute. So yeah, that is what I got at Choreo Books. And the last stop I went to was H Mart, which is a Korean grocery store. I wanted to get some dinner there. Uh, I wanted to try kimbap, um, but they didn't have any, or at least I didn't see any. Uh, they had a ton of, ton of kimchi and a ton of, ton of uh, Korean side dishes and stuff like that. I kind of strayed away from once I saw the octopus because <laughs> I was like, nah, I'm good, fam. But I just got a couple things. Um, <laughs> first thing I got was the BTS cold brew. <laughs> they had only two characters available. They had... <clears throat> RMs and J-Hopes and I got J-Hopes because he's my bias wrecker but yeah it just tastes like an Americano no sugar no um milk so it was okay kept me up on the bus ride home that's for sure <laughs> and then the next thing I got which was so delicious is banana milk <laughs> I still have the trash in my carry-on but I hope to god I'm able to find this stuff at a Korean grocery store in my town because that'd be great <laughs> this was delicious i loved it and then i also already more trash <laughs> i got this um peach iced tea uh, i probably am gonna cut out this picture and stick it in my journal because it's so cute but yeah this was just uh, a drink that you would pour into a glass of ice and enjoy and it was really nice i i loved it and it's so cute and the next thing I got, which I haven't tried yet, I'm looking forward to, though I'm kind of scared because I'm not really good with spicy food, but I hear with Korean food, it is extra spicy, so I'm scared, but we're going to give it a go. I got some ramen. Um, I got hot chicken flavor with cheese, so that'll be interesting. We'll see how that goes, but yep, yeah, that's what I got. And the last thing I got or some chips these are um garlic snacks and they're like puffs so they're pretty pretty interesting they're strangely sweet when you eat them so yeah but they're pretty good but yeah that is everything i got at the korean uh grocery store and that sums up everything i got on my trip which i'm so happy that i was able to go and i'm so happy i was able to get all these things I, I can't wait till the next time I go to New York. I don't know when that'll be. We'll, we'll see, but it's a lovely place to be in. But yeah, that is all. Um, I post pictures on my Instagram when I go on travel. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, you may. Uh, I also haven't recently, but I do post updates on what I'm reading on Goodreads. Though I've been in a slump since April, since I've gotten <laughs> into K-pop and been consuming a lot of Korean media i uh, been just recently gotten into K-dramas, so haven't really been spending much time reading or as much time as I used to, so, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, uh, later.